Now, I know falafels are readily available on the market. You can get them from most supermarkets, but nothing compares to homemade falafels. Now, the basis to any good falafel is chickpeas. Now, I've got some dried chickpeas here and I have soaked them overnight, so that's very important. I've washed them and then drained them. They can go into my food processor along with the peas. Now these are just frozen peas I've defrosted and I've ensured that there's not too much water on them because for falafels you want them to hold their shape so you don't want too many peas, just enough to give it a pop of sweetness. For some extra flavours, some parsley, stalks and all, about five to six sprigs and we're just going to break that straight into there. You can use other herbs here, you can add some coriander and some mint is a lovely addition. Now for some onion, I like the flavour of spring onions because they're milder in flavour and we need about three or four of those. I'll roughly chop. I'm just going to let my food processor do all the work for this. So we'll pop that in. And we always need a little garlic for this too. So a clove of garlic and I'm just going to mince this in so it's super fine and also subtle, okay. It's good. All right, now lid goes on and I want to pulse this until it's a crumb-like consistency. All right, it's looking good. It's still just a little bit too chunky, but before I continue pulsing, I'll add a few more ingredients at this stage. So a pinch of salt. And to make these gluten-free, I'm adding some besan flour or chickpea flour. You can just use plain flour if you like for this too. That's just going to help bind it. And to give these a really nice consistency, I'll add some baking powder and some dukkah. Now, I love dukkah and we are going to use this to crumb them, but I'm also just going to add a small pinch at this stage too, along with the zest of half a lemon. So we'll grate that straight in. Okay, lid goes on and we'll pulse it again until it's bound nicely. All right, this is the consistency that I'm after. You'll know it's the right consistency if you can just form little mounds just like this. If it's too loose, all you need to do is just add a little bit more flour. Okay, now I'm going to crumb them in the dukkah. I love dukkah, it's an Egyptian spice blend. It also has some nuts and seeds through it. I'm going to add about one and a half of these cartons. And this one's got a bit of a, an Australian touch with macadamia nuts, so I really love that. And to make these, well, you don't have to be too pedantic about it. I like to use one spoon and we'll just scoop some of the mixture out and we'll just pop it in our hand and just form sort of like a quenelle. And if it gets a bit sticky, you can just use a little water. And we'll add it into our macadamia duca and then lightly crumb it. And that is the perfect falafel right there. So I'm going to make a few more of these and then fry them in some hot oil. This oil is about 180 degrees. All right, these have been frying and they're crispy on the outside, super soft in the centre, they smell so good. And a little tip with the oil, just make sure you cool it to room temperature and if you strain it, pop it back into the bottle, you can reuse this next time you want to do a vegetarian dish just like this, so you don't have to waste that oil. Now I'm going to serve this with a creamy labneh sauce. Now this is actually made out of kefir, which I love. It's sort of like a fermented yoghurt. I've strained it overnight and you get this delicious, creamy, almost cheese-like mixture. It's fantastic for dipping sauces just like this. I will add the small amount of garlic. Don't want it to be overpowering because we've already got the garlic in our falafels. And just the juice of about half a lemon. We'll squeeze that in. So you want this to be quite tangy with fried food. This is what you want. A pinch of salt. And we'll just give that a really quick mix. Okay, pop that into a bowl on our serving plate. And I'm serving these falafels almost as a share plate so everyone can help themselves. I've got these really fiery peppers that have been pickled, so we'll add a mound of them to the side. And 
a nice generous amount of these falafels. While they're still warm, they're so delicious. But if you've got any left over, you can just reheat them the next day and pop them into a sandwich, a fantastic filler. One last little flourish of parsley for that pop of color and always a little pinch of salt. I probably should have a taste of these. I'm gonna go for this one. Dip it into the yogurt. Mm. They are to die for. See how soft and moist they look in the center and that pop of green from the parsley and the peas. And the best part about this is the crust made from dukkah, a simple pantry addition to make your falafel shine even more. Mm.